Within minutes of the march beginning, and the fury of these hardline Trump supporters was boiling over. This remains a volatile situation in the heart of the capital. As frustration over the president's election defeat and belief that it was fraud collides with political reality. Thousands had now gathered here. This is by far the largest pro-Trump rally since election day. And a few counter-protesters tried in vain to make their voices heard. Trump is a fascist white supremacist and the vision they have for America is sending it right back to the times where they were stringing black people up from trees. This rally is in fact a mix of militiamen, white supremacists and the die-hard loyalists including the Proud Boys, a fringe far-right group. Stop the steal! Four more years! Four more years! And into this fraught situation came the president, his cavalcade traveling the few hundred meters from the White House. Donald Trump appearing to be reveling in the spectacle after a lonely week contemplating defeat. But there are questions about whether this sort of movement can be sustained. Will this be the last major effort to mobilize by Trump supporters? Or will there now be 68 days of turmoil and protest between now and Inauguration Day? Do you think the president should concede or is it premature? I don't, I don't think so. I think we called it way too early. We need to stop watching the media and start getting the facts is what I think we need. But is it time for him to concede or should he fight on? He should fight on and never give up. That simple. That simple. Never give up. He should fight on. There's too much evidence of fraud. Too much. It's overwhelming. No commies in the White House. No commies in the White House. Trump 2020, baby. The president has shown no sign of acknowledging defeat. And buoyed by this support, he is likely to remain defiant. Four more years! Ignoring a transition that should by now be well underway. The march moved up to Congress and to the Supreme Court. The White House suggesting a million people are on these streets, when in reality, it is far fewer. USA! USA! But this is a sign the divisions in America and the wounds of this election are here to stay. Robert Moore, ITV News, Washington.